Hello dear students, welcome to ECE Academy Benefactor. After drawing the state diagram, we need to know how many flip flops are required. So, in this state diagram, the largest number is 5 and we can represent 5 by 101. So, 101 means 3 bits are required for representing 5 here. So, we need 3 flip flops. So, the number of flip flops required we can either derive it like this 2 to the power n should be greater than or equal to capital N where capital N value is here 6. So, it becomes 2 to the power n should be greater than or equal to 6. So, n will be equal to 3. Either this formula can be used or you can see the largest number here. And to represent this largest number we need a minimum of 3 bits. So, requires 3 flip flops. So, first is draw the state diagram, then know the required flip flops are 3. Now, we have to draw the transition table which is comprising of present state, 3 flip flops. So, its output will be QA, QB, QC, present state. The next state of this 3 flip flop output will, output will be QA plus 1, QB plus 1 and QC plus 1. And it will have 3 outputs. DA, DB and DC. These are the flip flop inputs. This can all, this is uh, the third column for this truth table or the transition table. Okay. So, three flip flops, three outputs QA, QB, QC. When we are having three bits, we can have total seven combinations. Two to the power three means eight combinations starting from triple zero till triple one. So, we have written the binary combinations 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, double 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0 and triple one. So, we have written the binary combinations from triple zero to triple one. Now, we have to fill the next state. How can we fill the next state? By looking at the state diagram. So, what is a 0, 0, 0 representing? It is a 0 state. So, after 0, what is the number coming? 1. So, what is 1 in binary? 0, 0, 1. And this is 1, 0, 0, 1. After 1, what is the state? 2. 2 is written as 0, 1, 0. After 2, what is the next state? 3. So, we write it as 3, 0, 1, 1. After 3, 0, 1, 1 means 3. After 3, the next state is 4, 1, double 0. After 1, this is 1, double 0 means 4th state. After 4th, what is the next state? 5th. So, 5th is the 5 is written as 1, 0, 1. 1, 0, 1 next state is after 5, we are having triple 0. And we do not have 6 and 7, so we write it as do not care states. The 110 1, 1, is 6 and triple 1 is 7, so we do not have 6 and 7 in the state diagram, so we put them as do not care. Writing the excited uh, transition table comprising of present state, next state, and flip flop inputs, as we know for DA out. D A D B D C whatever is Q A plus 1 the next state the same will be your D A. Q B 1 Q B plus 1 will be equal to D B. Q C plus 1 will be equal to D C because we know the transition table of D flip flop. If you write Q N is a present state, Q N plus 1 is a next state. Q N, Q N plus 1 we are writing the excite transition table for these two. So, how do we write 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1. So, what will be the D uh, column comprising of whatever is Q n plus 1? The next state output will be reflecting in the D column that is 0, 0. This one is reflected here 1, this 0 is here and 1 is here. So, what is the transition table of D flip flop? Whatever is Q n plus 1, the same is your D column. So, that is the reason we have not written D A, D B, D C. Because it is understood very clearly that Q A plus 1 will be equal to D A 
and q b plus 1 that is the next state of b second flip flop will be equal to d b and q c plus 1 will be equal to d c. So, after writing the transition table of present state, next state and d flip flop in ports, we need to simplify the k maps for d a, d b and d c. So, three inputs are required, we will draw the k map for three variable q a, q b, q c. 0 1 it is 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1. So, we now need to see for q a plus 1 where the ones are present. For q a plus 1 it is uh, q a plus 1 present are summation where it is present at 3 and 4 at 3 and 4 we are having 1 and we are having do not care at 6 and 7. This is for q a plus 1 which is equal to d a. So, let us now fill the d a here, d a is 1 at 3 and 4. So, when we have the counting of the cell number this is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7. So, fill the third cell and fourth cell with 1 and 6 and 7 with the do not care. Okay? Now, we need to do the grouping of the cells. So, this is one grouping, another grouping is this one. Okay? So, for this grouping the term is coming to be as q b q c because it is 1 1. What is 1? q b q c. So, we write it as q b q c. Now, for this pair we have to look at this row that is q a and in these two columns what is common 0. What is 0 here? 0 is q c bar. So, for this grouping we write it as q a q c bar. Okay? So, we get the equation for d a as q a q c bar plus q b q c. Now, let us see the k map simplification for d b. What is d b? Now, we have to look for q b plus 1. It is 1 at 1 and 2. So, it is equal to 1 at 1 and 2 and I do not care at 6 and 7. Okay? So, what is this one? q b plus 1. What is q b plus 1? d b. So, where the d b is 1? It is 1 at 1 at cell number 1 and at 2. So, at 1 and 2 we are putting 1 and at 6 and 7 we are putting do not care because we know the cell numbers this is 0 1 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1. This is cell number 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7. So, at 1 and 2 we are having 1 and at 6 and 7 we are having the do not care condition. So, now we need to do grouping. So, this is one group possible for this one group, one pair, the term coming to be as in these two rows nothing is common in this column it is q b q c bar, it is q b q c bar. Now, coming to this there is no other combination, so if the single one is circled here, so it is equal to this is q a bar and here it is q b bar q c. Okay? This is q b bar q c. So, for d b we are getting the equation as one term is um, q a bar q b bar q c, q a bar q b bar q c and the next term is q b q c bar. Now, let us see for d c uh, by looking at the q c one column this is one present 1 at at 0 and this is 4. At 0 and 4 we are having 1 and do not care is at 6 and 7. Okay? So, now we need to fill it at 0 it is 1 and at 4 it is 1 okay? and at 6 and 7 we are having do not care. Okay? So, what it is coming? Q 
once again we will let us see q c plus 1 is 1 at 0 and this is 2 and 4. So, at 2 also we are having 1. So, it is 0, 2, this is also there, 4, 6 and 7 are do not care. So, now this is 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Okay, so, we are having one quad here by this overlapping. So, in these two what is common? 0 is common, no, yes, 0 is common, this 0. So, it will be equal to Q C bar. Okay, so, Q C, D C is coming to be as Q C bar. So, now we got the three equations, one is D A, D B and for D C. So, based on the transition table, we have uh, simplified the K map and got the equations of D A, D B, D C. Now, we need to draw the logic diagram for it. So, as we are drawing this synchronous uh, mod 6 counter using D flip flop, we have drawn 3 flip flops D A, D B, D C, their outputs are Q A, Q A bar, Q B, Q B bar, Q C, Q C bar. As it is synchronous in nature, we in nature we are giving the so, same clock to all the three flip flops, which is positively edge triggered. So we are not putting a bubble here. So three clocks going to three flip flops. Now coming to D A, what should be the D A input is decided by this equation, which is equal to Q A Q C bar, Q A Q C bar going to an end gate, and Q B Q C is going to another end gate to get the output q a q c bar here and q b q c here which is then odd and to get the output as q a q c bar plus q b q c. So, this is a d input given with the help of this logic circuit and then coming to d b input, the input here is q a bar q b bar and Q C and another input is Q B Q C bar. So, here we are getting Q A bar, Q B bar and Q C and here we are getting Q B Q C bar which are all to get the this D B output here which is connected here and next uh, connect coming to D C input what should be connected? It should be Q C bar. So, in this way we are uh, we are given the inputs to D A, D B and D C and we are obtaining the output from Q A, Q B and Q C. Okay, so, in this way we can easily draw the mod 6 synchronous counter using D flip flops a very easy way to remember the D flip flop transition table is whatever is the next state state values the same is going to be for the D. This table is very important to be remembered while solving the D flip flop transition table. Okay, so, based on the state diagram we have drawn this present state and next state. I hope you have understood the class. If you have any queries, you can post in the comment section. Thank you. Good luck students.